What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 265, right? That is correct, sir. Uh, 265. Uh, my name is Bryce. I'm here uh, after a while, and this is Rick. Mike is not here, and welcome to Some Shit We Like. Yes, where we talk about shit that we like. Yes. Uh, maybe if you're lucky, you're, well, I don't want to say lucky, you might be watching us live right now uh, on Twitch, and if you are, it's sometime on Saturday afternoon. What time is it right now? One o'clock. That's not necessarily indicative of when we Our start time. Record. <laughs> Our start time is whenever. Um, Between so 12 and 1. I don't even like to say that because that's not necessarily a guarantee either. Because last week you guys started late. What, what so. does the cable company say between the hours of nine and six? Yeah, <laughs> there yeah, you go. Yeah, I'd say we're from the hours of midnight to midnight. So those are our hours. Um, so if you caught us live, welcome and thank you. And if not, then you're listening to us in one of the many other ways that you can or watching. Uh, you might be listening to us. Via audio, and if that's the case, you found us on Yay. Tues- on Tuesdays. Uh, we put up the show. I usually try to get up there at ten a.m. Uh, depending on what time I wake up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that'll be up there on Tuesday, and then you can start watching clips of our faces that same day uh, by twelve, and then another one on Wednesday, possibly two on Thursday. Sometimes one on Facebook. It seems like sometimes you put something up on Instagram too. It depends how busy it I am. It just depends on what happens, and then you can get the full video on Friday. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, the full fucking, the whole full fucking video. Motherfucking video. That's better. <laughs> I like to encourage um, cursing. Okay. Yes. Um, and he also hurts me. I hurt you? Yeah. You're not supposed to say that on stream. Um, Deal with it. I guess I'll be done with Time it. Timestamp, cut this out. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Mike isn't here. Yeah, uh, he couldn't uh, make his way here, but. and but he's here in spirit, and maybe maybe he'll show up in the chat. Yeah. So, um, anyways, we got a show to start, but sir, I love your sweater. Oh, thank you. I have to point it out because I just love your sweater. <laughs> Rick and I did not plan this. Yeah, today. apparently we're Nintendo the thing Nintendo today. Brigade. I think, okay, you know how my cat shirt used to be like the one with the skulls? I feel like that one kind of felt like, I was trying to make it my trademark shirt. Like wear it on? Like, the like all the time. Time. But uh, it's getting so old and like I've had it for like, I don't know, five years now. It's, yeah. it's getting really old. I'm kind of... So, this I'm, is my new shirt that I think I'm going to wear all the time oh, now. Because I funny. love the way it fits. Okay, well, there you and go. And it's comfortable, and I like Mario. You're going to try to wear it on the podcast, or yeah. you just in general? In general. So, it's funny. I am actually a little self-conscious about that, and I sometimes remember what I wore the last time we streamed and try to wear something different. Because I don't... Just because I'm weird I like that. it just makes things easier when you just have, like... No, I know, the same but... Thing. I agree, but when... I just think it's funny looking back at all the videos and everyone's going to be like, does he just wear one fucking shirt? Is that all he owns, you know? Which is fine. I see both sides. Yeah. But I'm just saying that's how I am. Sometimes I'll actually think yeah. about it and you make know, sure to wear something different. You know what would have been funny? I almost wore my Zelda shirt, but I realized I wore it last that week. Really funny. That would have been funny. Yeah. yeah. And then I thought about wearing my Goonies shirt, but like, no, red, and my face gets red, and yeah. it doesn't really blend well with the blue in the back. So. You know... Cheesy, I hope you asked that. Oh shit, Cheesy's here. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I hope you asked that fucking question when I haven't been here for the last three weeks. We're not even a hey I know guys, how. welcome back. I know just, where the hell is Mike? Oh uh, shit. Yeah, Bryce hasn't been here in two weeks. Yeah, like, why does it feel longer? No, because so two weeks, the whole fortnight. <laughs> I know, I missed two episodes. I think it feels longer for me because I also... Wasn't there a week where we skipped? We did skip. That's right. We did skip a week. Well, I know... Um, I, I think it's just been that. This is the third week and I'm here. I know the weekend yeah. that we skipped. And, yeah. yeah, anyways. Um, so, yeah, that would have been funny if you wore the, the Zelda. Yeah, it would have been yeah. funny if I wore that. Yeah. Um, now, actually, for, well, I didn't forget that I had this, but I had stuff like in boxes and... Uh, pulled it out. It's relatively oh, that's new, true. but it was all packed. They were in the until the stream. Oh, well, yeah, I was, but I haven't been on this show <laughs> for two weeks in a row. Uh, Anyways, yeah, Anyways. Mike, Mike's not here, so but yeah. Glad you can make it cheesy. You're in Vegas. Yeah, hi, cheesy. 
And that's cool you're watching us in Ve- Vegas. Oh, you said you're recovering. You're probably still in your room or something, I guess, from a night mm-hmm. of partying or something. Vegas? I don't know. Vegas can get crazy. Where are you at in Vegas? Where are you staying? Give us your room number. Yeah, we're, we're going to go right now. Food. We'll send you <laughs> some food. Um, so, yeah. So, you don't have any, anything you want to... What? Any pre-show? Pre-show stuff? commentary? Mm-hmm. Do you? Up, up your, Do up you? your sleeve. Up know. my ass. Up your eyes. Do um, you have anything? I have nothing. I, I mean, we can just jump right into it. I mean, yeah, we can jump. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I just I watched Philip DeFranco this morning because I missed his show yesterday. Uh, so I watched him while eating breakfast. Okay, alright. Staying at the Hilton, skipping the pool party. Cool. Room 20. Oh, sweet. Or something. <laughs> or, something. or something. Okay. okay. That's a long ass room number. Yeah. I probably should. I almost straight up said it on the stream. I probably shouldn't have. And I, I just spit up my coffee. Awesome. Good job, Rick. Do you make a shit have a tissue? <laughs> Please. Um, I've already fallen off the rails. But I think that's our trademark. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Pretty stuff. I'm trying to... Th- oh, I should put that there. I always think of things that I probably would say whenever I'm not on the show. Or... After the fact, like what I could bring up is pre stuff. Pre stuff. I mean, you were talking to me. I mean, I was gonna. You're talking to me about my album list earlier in the pre show. Uh, yeah, but, but you have a video that you're gonna. Yeah, it's kind of been off yeah. my channel. It's been two months since I put up a video on my channel. Did you miss it? You yes honest. and no. Yes and no. Um, cause it keeps me busy. Mm-hmm. Cause like this, I mean, I've gone this down to a science pretty much on editing videos. So like if I can like I could if I really wanted to like I can have everything done with this in on a Sunday, right? And then like the whole week, not really worry about anything. Yeah, we um, have plenty of shit to keep you busy. You know, like you've got a laundry list of TV shows that you could like. I'm just saying in terms of being entertained. Oh yeah, you yeah. know, like you uh, yeah. you've just, got a, a Nintendo Switch that's over there collecting dust and multiple games. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then, yeah, you have, like, a laundry list of, uh... Things to watch. Things to watch. Started but Jessica Jones. I did, too. Watched the first episode. Two, Thought it was interesting. I'm two episodes in. Um, yeah, Philly D. Oh, okay, love. I got something I want to talk about. Sort of. Even okay. Sort of Go for it. Philly D what? No, no, no I just, he just put yeah. down, love Philly D, yeah. I do, too. Call him, call him Beautiful Philly bastard. Honest. There you go. Uh, I finished Dark. Oh, you finished Dark. Yes, and Rick and I both learned about Dark, I think, on this podcast, we on the air, actually, because mm-hmm. we were talking about Stranger Things. Dark is fucking amazing. Like, yeah. I love that show. Like, I mean, I, 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 I've I, talked to you about it a little bit off the air, but yeah, I finished it this past week, and there's going to be a season two. Um, That's great. And I just, like, that show is so, so good. Um, yeah, it's not... They have dubs... So you could watch it in English if you wanted to. Just fucking don't. I mean, like, watch it the way it's intended and just read the subtitles. Um, I know some people aren't into that, but, like, the show's captivating enough to where it's not a big deal. And they do a lot of storytelling visually, I would say. Like, the, like you can... Just watch something it's just, yeah, it's and really know cool. what's going on. No, yeah, yeah like, it, it, like, they do a really good job. Like, I don't know, everything, the mood of that show... Everything about that show, like the music, the mood, it's just a really good show. I know you've started it. You should keep going. It's just super interesting. It's, I don't know. I can't remember. Well, I can. I was going to say, I can't remember the last time I've, I've gotten so excited about a show, but I mean, Stranger Things really, was one of them when it first came out. This, and there's another. This has you just as hyped as Stranger Things or any other like show you've been up, yeah, looking dude, forward it's to? It's pretty up there, man. Like, yeah, I, it's really fucking good. Like, I. I just, something about the story, like, it just, the creepiness factor, like, there's just something about it. Like, it's a show, honestly, like, where you do want to shut off all the lights and watch just it at watch night. It. And, yeah, like, I don't know. It, there's just something about that show. Highly recommend Dark. Um, it came out, it was on Netflix in December, so it's not, it's just something new. Um, well, it's newer, but, yeah, like, Rick and I, I think we were talking about Stranger Things, and some people in the chat mentioned if you like that, you should check out Dark. Wasn't that 
Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, then, and, then, and then we, yeah, and then the we, yeah. we uploaded the trailer, and then we got like, comments about it, too. Yeah. Um, for how people were saying it's better than Stranger Things, or yeah. it's just as good. Yeah. But it is different. It's really fucking good. Oh, Nightbot. That's, yeah, that's, I created, I added Nightbot. But so. it's all fucked up. It's all one. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Yeah, it's not good. Um, but yeah, so I finished that, like, I almost wish it wasn't over. <laughs> like, it's, it's really good, man. I don't know, like, something about, like... How far in are you? Just three like, episodes. Three episodes. So I don't want to say too much, but just something about, like, I just really like, I like the story that's told there. It's just really, really interesting. It's one of those shows that makes you think. And, like, I'm still thinking about it. And, yeah, like, when it's ready, it's ready, but I'm really looking forward to season two. Um, and other than that, since we're talking about stuff, yeah, like, a lot of stuff came out last Thursday, at, well, Friday, but Thursday at midnight, the shit all goes up. And that's, uh, Jessica Jones, uh, yeah. the last and the season three and the final season of Love. That's I, right, that I came out love, too. Love, love, <laughs> love is so good. Uh, I'm kind of savoring it. Uh, there's twelve episodes. I think I've watched six. Um, so I'm saying that's savoring because it's been out a week, and I think traditionally I probably would have already been done. finished it. But yeah, I've been pretty good about it. Like I've been going back and forth with stuff. So like I've been watching, I'll watch an episode of Jessica Jones and watch an episode of Love. I haven't started Sneaky Pete yet. I'm getting caught up on another show that we talked about on uh, this podcast, but I don't think you've watched yet. I don't think Mike's watched yet, but the J.K. Simmons show on Stars. I yeah, I was I tried watching it, but I was just in the, I wasn't really in the mood. It's definitely a show like I think Mr. Robot is this way too. You need to put your phone down and you need to watch and you need to be awake and you need to focus. Yeah. I, I feel like that's the show you have to be focused on. That's right. why, like I said, like I wasn't really right. in the mood to focus. Like, it's, one of the, it's just one of those shows. Like, I, you know, some, I could see some people saying, what are you saying, the show's boring? Like, no, it's just a lot happens. I think the show does start off slow, but, like, I like it from the start. It picks up. But after episode, after the third episode, like, it really clicked. Well, I mean, I was always in. I was right. in from the beginning. But after the third episode, something yeah. really clicked. And I was like, oh, wow, like. So now I'm super into it. Um, I like J.K. Simmons. Yeah. So that's all. I guess there's your pre-show stuff. Bolo. Bolo's been here before. Yeah, yeah. What happened to the wall? Um, you want to know what happened to the wall? So Not this chair. It was a different chair. What is this chair? This Isn't is a this new chair. Isn't broken? No. I, I got a new chair. When the fuck did you get a new chair? A while ago. When? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm confused. Because the chair that was broken, it actually... Fell off, right? Oh, Peaky Blinders. Why is that familiar? Peaky Blinders. Yeah. What is that? That's not that the... sounds familiar. That's not the... Um... Who's that guy? <laughs> who's, that, who's that guy? What the fuck is his well, name? Well, the wall happened because I kept leaning with my chair against yeah, with this the chair. wall. Yeah, with the chair. And uh, it got to the point where, like, it was hot days and, like... The paint, I guess, just stuck to the chair, so I kept pulling it off, and then that ended up happening. It's not even. It was just you were just the friction of the chair. And the stuff. friction, yeah. Plus the, plus the, uh, uh, the paint is probably just kind of thin. Yeah, I gotta get that fixed. I forgot you got a new chair. Wait a minute. So refresh my memory. The chair that I would always try to lean back in and almost fall and yeah like, break my ass. That was more of like an executive chair that it I got actually from Staples. did break. Yeah, it did break. Like the you back couldn't fell look back. Off. Yeah, you couldn't. So for a back. while you had the chair, but no backing. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. How long have you had the mm-hmm. chair for? Because that did happen a Pretty while much ago. Much so still even in Orange County. But it was here. But no, I, I mean, had what, it here, yeah. But like when? How long have you had this chair? <laughs> like when did it happen? Uh, I got this chair probably about six months, six months ago, maybe. Oh, my okay. dad. My dad That's had right. an extra chair because I remember. Yeah, because of his office. Who am I thinking out. of? Who's the Who's the guy? Let me look this up. Sorry, I'm Peaky Bl- Blinders. Is that on Netflix? Yeah, it's on Netflix. But is it here? Because it's a British show. Is it on Netflix in the U.S.? Okay, oh. Peaky Blinders is not what I'm thinking of. I've heard of that show though. What's up? Tom Hardy, Killian Murphy. Um, I like Killian Murphy. That's the thing that I'm thinking of though. What the fuck? Um, I don't know what you're thinking of. I had some. Um. Who's that guy? He does some stuff for TV. Um, this is not helping at all, but I think you could figure it out. Like, I'd want it. Like, he's got more of an online presence. He's kind of weird. For his birthday, 
This will sell it because I told you that I was at the, this movie theater when he was there and didn't realize it was him. He went to go see It on his birthday and it was dressed up like a ballerina almost kind of, sort of, and had like a wand and everything. Oh, you told me about yeah. that. Yeah, what the fuck? Who is that guy? That you know what I'm talking about. He's not necessarily an actor. Like, you know him. You so know him. What the fuck is his name? This is going to bug me. This is pretty Is he a YouTuber? Shit. I don't know. Is he a YouTuber? He's he's a writer. He's written stuff for TV. Mm, what the fuck? Let's see. How old? How old is he? I mean, I think he's younger. Oh, younger. Okay. Not necessarily than us, but I don't think he's oh, like in his forties. Cool. Okay, cool. So it is. But it isn't. It is out there. Yeah. Cool. I haven't been gone for months, cheesy. <laughs> but it feels that way. I I know you, know you remember the top of the story, but I don't remember who it is. But I know you know this person. Um, fuck. He did. He's a wrestling fan. He's been on. The Game Over Greggy show. You like his Game Over Greggy show. Like, it was fucking insane. Like, they got hammered on it. You told me you need to watch this episode. It was so long. Oh, And you said uh, they got so drunk. Uh, the fuck is that the guy video game guy, right? He I does don't know. Voices. Is he just video games? No. No, 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 no. Not the voice guy. You, Nolan uh, Nolan? you know this guy. Who? No, not Nolan. No, 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 no. This guy, he, he has a TV show. He's a writer. He, yeah, I love Film Riot. It's it's an it's awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to their latest fuck. short. Okay, what up? He was a part of something that I think was somewhat popular, but he's not going to be involved with season two. Fuck. Dude, I don't know. We probably should get on with the show. Though. No, no, this is going to bug me. <laughs> think about it. A game over, Greggy. Dan Riker? No, not Dan Riker. It's not Dan Riker. I but good call, cheesy, because that, that he's a wrestling guy. What the. You know this guy. I know this think guy. Of, think about a game over Greggy. That is like, man. I remember. The, I know which one you're talking about. I just name. don't remember who the guy was. But you know him. Like, you you know him probably more than... Thank you, Max fucking Scoville. Oh, Max Scoville. Oh. Thank you, Cheesy. That was bugging me. Max... No, no not Max Scoville. No, no, no. Max Landis. Max, La oh, Max like, Landis. Max Scoville? Max Scoville is... Uh, he was on... Uh, He's he's a uh, he's like he's on IGN. Uh, Remember I told you he, he's like the big Star Wars fan. He loves Boba Fett. He actually has like a Boba Fett tattoo. No, you reminded me though. So yeah, it's not Max Scoville. I know who Max Scoville is. He's he's, a, he's awesome. He's obsessed with Pokemon. So Max that's why Landis. I know him. It is Max it's Max Landis. Landis. Yeah. And this all came up because I thought he did Peaky Blinders, but he didn't. <laughs> okay, Max Landis. What was the show that he just did that he, a lot of people liked? He did. Uh, God, it's like a my Dirk head. Gently. Dirk Gently. Yeah. That's what it is. Have you watched that? What is I have that not, on? No. How do we watch that? Uh, I think it's on the BBC is USA. That it? Is that it? US, I think. Okay. See, this is why we talk this shit out. <laughs> Cheesy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wow, fuck. <laughs> He's on Comedy Button. That's right, yeah. We didn't nail it. Because I feel like you know more about him than I do. Because he did, he did, he did, he did like, he did that YouTube video about wrestling. Dan Herman pointed it out to my Yes. Guy. But yeah, everything I've learned about filmmaking and shit, like it's you all you learned from, from me from film right from me, yeah from yeah film oh, right yeah I see the faces that you're making <laughs> I, I know everything wrestling is it yeah, yeah Max Max, Max and Max Landis. Landis. does that sound familiar yeah it does it totally okay. yeah it because like, I think you sent me head, a yeah. picture of him dressed up all funny it's like oh I'm like holy shit I was saw there him yeah dressed up in a tutu okay yeah. Fuck. Why were we talking about that again? Because <laughs> Bolo brought up Peaky Blinders. Oh, that's For right. For some reason, I you thought, thought that it was Max Dirk Landis. Gently. I, I don't know. I fucked that right. shit up. Okay. I think we can uh, start the show. I know. Now we can start the show. <laughs> yeah. To steal from Kevin Smith, I think we can now get the show started properly. I know. Huh? This was like a literal like Hollywood Babylon length of an intro. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not quite, but almost there. Yeah, almost there. Um um, All right, so let's get into you're it. You're currently writing a script. Yeah, the process is crazy, man. I've written a few stuff, and it's it's fun though. It's fun. If you, I mean, if you like creating worlds, it's a lot of fun, dude. Um, definitely. Um, but now we can get into the show. Yeah. We got things to watch and things to show you. So let's just. No. <laughs> Fucking. Start the show. Go to the go to there. See, the I docket. changed it. Start the show. What's on the docket? 
No, I, have, I haven't shot anything. I answer your fans, Rick. <laughs> I haven't shot anything. Well, we got some... Do you, don't you want to cover, like, the news stories? Oh, yeah, yeah, news. Uh, we do have news. Um, Bryce, you brought this to my attention. Yes, I did. Because um, if you didn't know, Rick is a very big uh, Buffy fan. I'm a huge Buffy the Vampire fan. I'm a huge Joss, Joss Whedon, Whedon fan. fan. Um, like, I first found his stuff when I watched the first Buffy movie, which a lot of people don't like. Even he doesn't really like much. I thought it was okay. I thought it was stupid funny. What? what? The, the movie. I totally, I zoned out. The movie. His movie. Just ah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. That came first. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, then he pitched out Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But anyways, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if you don't know, she obviously slays vampires, which how can you not know who who's, Buffy is? Who's the other? You're a big, sorry, Joss Whedon and Rob Thomas fan, right? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars. You should be watching it. I mean, but, yeah. Anyways, carry on. Um, yeah, so apparently here on AGN it says that Fox will actually reboot Buffy the Vampire Slayer when Joss Whedon wants to uh, come on and reboot it. I don't himself. know. I see, see, I don't know what sparked this article. I don't know if someone asked them, but yeah, basically what Rick just said. The story is Fox is down to reboot Buffy, but it's pretty much up to Joss Whedon. Um, so yeah, that's that's the story. So they're not gonna, no, so, they're not gonna force it. They're not gonna force it unless it's something that Joss wants to do, which yeah. I think is is, is great. If, which I had, which I had to explain. Which you kind of had to explain to me because bit. my first initial thought was like, hell no, uh, I think Buffy is perfect the way it is. It was meant for its time. I wouldn't say that it's, it's like. I mean, you can watch it now, but like it's dated for sure. You know, um, but at the same time, um, like, it's it just kind of like, it lives in that capsule, you know, and it's something like, like I was on, like, I went on Facebook and I saw that most people too, when they heard about that, they were kind of like, no, you know, we don't want this reboot. But when you kind of explained it to me, you know, and I, you know, like, well, yeah, I mean, I guess if he comes back and he does it the way he wants to, sure, that's fine. I still personally like on the fence about it. I'd like to see what his idea is. But I think kind of going in the way of like how Star Wars is like how he said it, passing down the mantle to a new generation. I feel like that's like if Buffy were to come back, I think it should come back like that. I think it's like a passing down of the stake to the well, new Slayer, I mean, which is technically of... true and can happen. I mean, we you know into each generation of Slayer. Well, I guess everyone then became a Slayer at the end of the show, so it could still happen. Like I told you, it could. That's why, like, see, so it bothers me. I'm not saying that that there aren't exceptions to this, but I hate when fans think they know better. You know what I mean? And so, everything about this story, I would think as a fan of this, you should like what you're hearing. Because they aren't going to ram it down your throat. They're not like, no, we're doing this whether Joss Whedon wants it or not. They're like, when Joss Whedon is ready, no, let me finish. When Joss Whedon is ready, and if he wants to do it, we'll make it happen. You know, it's the same thing with like, you know, like you... We were both all about, you know, because we grew up watching the show. Mm-hmm. Like, ideally, we didn't want it to be on the Disney Channel and blah, blah, blah. But we were all about Girl Meets World happening because we both like Boy Meets yeah. World. And everything about that show is was like, it was like the perfect storm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not that, I don't even want to say perfect storm. But I mean, that's how I, won't, that's how I would want something like this to happen. It's like, yeah. okay, everybody who was on the show is pretty much still involved. Like, as far as the creators and all that stuff, they're still involved. <laughs> they're still involved. Um, but... It's going to be different because now Corey and Topanga are the parents and they're raising them. Right. So essentially you could do even the same thing with... with, with or Buffy. Veronica Mars. Even. Or Veronica. Like Veronica Mars, for example, like you weren't, you always wanted more of Veronica Mars and everything with that, like it was always the same though. Like everybody was still involved. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think your issue is more like... It's... My, my, my point is if Joss Whedon is still the brain trust behind the whole thing... Then I don't think you should have a problem. Because to me, I don't think unless he just wants to be greedy, and his life is in the shitter, and he's just doing it for a payday. I'd like to think that he would come back and make Buffy because he had a good idea and because he wanted to do it. And I think it'd still be done in the way that you want it to happen. Because yeah, it could be what you said, a passing down, and Sarah Michelle Gellar could still be on the show playing like the Corey and Topanga role or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still on the show. Maybe I'm not the focus anymore, but I'm here, and here's new me. 
you know, here's who I, I think I think it can definitely work um, for sure. Uh, if to do something like that rather than just rebooting it. I think rebooting it would still be fine, but at the same time, like, I feel like, and I think he's even said this in an interview where he's kind of already told his story, and the stories that he is telling now is already continuing in comic book form. Yeah. I mean, there's already now, technically, what, 10 seasons or something like that? See, the word, re- I don't know. 12? I almost, 12, don't, I almost 12, don't think they should, like, I don't like the word reboot, because I, I think it depends on how you interpret it. But yeah, like, if I were Joss Whedon, I wouldn't want to be any part of a show that was going to, what is it called? Like, reboot, reboot. Because I feel like you can look at reboot in a few ways. There's, like, reboot, it could be like, oh, we're going to start this back up again. But then also sometimes reboot is also like they're remaking it in a different way. You know, and I don't think Joss Whedon would want to be a part, or any creator, I feel like, wouldn't want to be a part of something where they're, uh, look at Rick Rickard as like, hey, look at me, I can type without looking at the keyboard. Go uh, on. No, I know, I thought that was good. I, I felt you staring at me. Um, I don't think Joss Whedon were any part of like a complete like do-over of Buffy. I don't like the word reboot because why would he do that? You know what I mean? Like, because like you said, he's re the story. It, yeah, I think nowadays it's like that term, but that to word go, kind of has... Right. To go back to the show though, with everything he already created, but also starting a new story, I think is a different... Yeah, I, I think the only story. issue that they... If they did come back like that, the only issue is, like, those comic books aren't going to be canon anymore. Remake. Yeah. That, that, remake. That, okay, reboot does still make sense, but remake is what you don't want. Yeah. Because a remake, to me, the way I interpret that as, like, oh, you like this movie from the 80s? We're, we're going to make the same exact movie. So reboot Beat then. for beat. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. In 2018. So to me, a reboot is kind of like, oh, well, let's start this back up again and revisit these characters and also introduce yeah. introduce you to some new ones. It is all kind of hard to, I mean, because like, I mean, Angel, David Boreanaz is old now. I mean, not because he, like, he doesn't look good for his age, because he does, but like, you know, they were a lot younger too, so he can't play an undead vampire and look old. <laughs> oh, that's true. So that's why that's why he's he's mentioned that himself too, you know, like it'd be kind of hard to do that to bring it back like that. Yeah, um, I think how they can bring it back is just bring in, make it like its own like in the same universe but its own story. Right, and know? and how those characters drop in. Every yeah, now and then, you know, yeah. or all the time. I mean, yeah, for all you know. Yeah. Maybe I mean we've all, everyone always wanted the Faith TV show, so maybe that could happen still. <laughs> maybe Buffy is like the mentor or something to whoever. Well, she was kind of already that in the fi- last season. Maybe she's doing it again, you know. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what she's doing now in the comic book. Okay. Too. I'm just saying. But I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I'm like, just making excuses. <laughs> get off the cliff and realize that look, no one's saying this is happening and we're gonna make it happen. Okay. They're saying, hey, if we didn't want to do it. We'll do it. And okay. to me, I don't think he would do it unless he wanted I, to do it. That's exactly. Cool. Exactly. That's it. Um, I think the only bad part about all this is Fox. Because Fox and Whedon's relationship isn't really that stellar because of how many times they've canceled his shows. Right. Um, Firefly only got one season. Not only did it get one season, it didn't show all the seasons and it was aired in the wrong order. Same thing with Dollhouse. Uh, the first season, I think the first four episodes were shot out of or, or uh, aired out of order too, which everyone complained about too because it's Fox fucking shit up again. And then, uh, uh, well, I guess that's more on WB's fault when they kind of cut ties with the show and they ended up moving to UPN. But um, but yeah, just like the relationship with Fox isn't really that great, and I think. The reason I think Fox hasn't let go of Buffy is because they know how valuable it is. Because they own the rights. Because they own the rights, yeah. They know how valuable. But they could. Is. They could. They could make it work. They could, in in theory. Like I, mean, I, I don't know the, all the legality of it all, but if they wanted to, because they own the rights, couldn't they start up Buffy without Joss Whedon? They can't. So they were so they were go. going to. So but I think so, they got so much backlash right. that people were like, okay, well maybe we should get Joss. So that like I tried to explain to you before, that's why I wouldn't even look at his relationship with Fox is a bad thing because again if this happens that must mean that Whedon is happy with his deal with Fox that whatever whatever agreement they came to he's good with you know what I mean like some shit you just can't worry about like it's not your problem 
Yeah. If the show's coming back and Whedon's on board, don't worry about his past history with Fox because clearly they came to some sort of agreement that they're good with. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that's all. I think It's almost kind of a non-story because it almost seems, this article seems like an article that was written just to be it's, written. Yeah. Because there wasn't like there's a hint that it's coming back. It just seems like maybe it's up to someone him. asked somebody at Fox, yeah. what's the status with Buffy? And they said, well, if Whedon wants to do it, we're on board too. And I think as a fan of Buffy, that's the best answer you could ever get. Yeah. You know? It's the same thing, so, like, same thing with me. Like, um, anyone that's watched the show for a while knows that I'm a big, like, graphic adventure game fan growing up. Like, I played Monkey Island and Space Quest and uh, Full Throttle and all these games that have since been, like, redone and Maniac Mansion, all that shit. Uh, and Monkey Island, are, like, is my, yeah, is, is my favorite. And the original guy behind Monkey Island did one and two, and then he left LucasArts. And then three I still really enjoy, because a lot of the same people that worked on the first two still worked on three, but the main person that dreamt up this story wasn't there anymore. Uh, four I didn't really care for, and I got excited for the games that came out with Telltale, just because I like Monkey Island that much, where it's like, oh, this is new Monkey Island. And I think it's different, too, because it was them continuing the story rather than, yeah. like, let's reimagine it. You know what I mean? But um, there's a part of me that I still, to this day, want to see Ron Gilbert's Monkey Island 3. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at a point right now where even though I like Monkey Island and I would be ecstatic if Monkey Island 6 got announced, now I'm a little bit more like, but who's behind it? You know what I mean? Like, that's where I'm at. Yeah. So... That's why I think to me as a, as a fan of Buffy, you hear this story of like, well, we'll, we'll give you more, but only if Joss Whedon wants to do it. That's the best thing you could hear. Whereas to me, if I heard Ron Gilbert, you know, Disney basically has the Monkey Island franchise. Uh, they have it in their deep corner, you know, <laughs> yeah. Disney vault or whatever, because they, you know, they bought. I feel like they're hanging out to that kind of like how they're hanging out to Buffy. <laughs> because, well, here's the thing, because because Ron Gilbert has said that he won't make Monkey Island three or another Monkey Island, you know, his Monkey because he hasn't made a Monkey Island since two, even though there's been more Monkey Islands. Everyone wants to see his Monkey Island three, um, and he said I won't do that unless I own the rights to the game. He doesn't even want it to be licensed to him. He's like, no. He's like, I want full control. Because I think his fear is that even if they license it out to me, they might start telling me what to do. You know what I mean? Like, and he doesn't yeah. want that. He yeah. wants full control. And so I, get that. so I get it. To me, as a Buffy fan, I'd be more fearful of this story if Fox is like, well, no, we really want to make this. And if Joss is involved, great. And if he's not, then we're still going to make it. I think you got the best answer that you can hope for as a fan of Buffy. Definitely. You yeah. Know? So that that's my take on it. On that story. I still think we should get another Serenity. Serenity two. Is that Which is, that's Firefly, yeah. Okay. See I don't know. Yeah. I think you would like Firefly, man. I, don't, I, I think you would like it. You. you also thought I'd like Veronica Mars and I And you did? Did, yeah. And now <laughs> I watched like the zombie version of Veronica Mars. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Rick's a big Buffy fan, big Joss Whedon fan, so he thought you'd bring that story. To the show. Yeah. All right. Anyways, yeah. Saw this before going coming on the air. Rick and I are big fans of Stranger Things. Everybody's a fan of Stranger. Bother- I hate when things get so popular that you almost feel like ashamed to say, "Yeah, <laughs> I like it." It's like well, Rick and I like this from like the very. A lot of people like it from the very beginning, but I mean, we were on it before it blew up into this big thing. Yeah. Uh, what's the article? I didn't see it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, um, so yeah. So I don't. I don't know if there was like a history with this or whatever, but there, there's some. Netflix basically, from what I gathered, Rick, you can maybe as I'm talking, like scroll through and see if I'm wrong on any of this stuff. But they basically won the rights to this movie called Scroll One More Time called There's Someone Inside Your House, which apparently is a coming of age slasher movie that is from the people that bring us Stranger Things. Not necessarily the Duffer brothers, but like the, I guess the product well, the producers the production production company? yeah Twenty One Laps and. Also from uh, James, they're teaming up with James Wan. James Wan. Uh, what is this shit called? It's called Atomic something. Where did it go? Scroll up. Uh, up, up, up. Atomic monster. Atomic monsters. And uh, that to me, I think, fills a hole 
inside Rick and I <laughs> because <laughs> we both like Stranger Things, we both like James Wan and coming of age slasher movie. On That's Netflix. interesting. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Um, um it's a movie, you said, right? I guess or a show. A, I guess it's a movie. So, well, let's see. It, it so Netflix beat out multiple studios. Uh, Red Hot pitch based. This is from an author, Stephanie Perkins, New York Times best-selling novel about a young girl whose high school friends, friends. Inexplicably, inexplicably begin to die in a series of gruesome murders. According to this article, this one is similar in tone to Netflix's Stranger Things. Think 1980s and 90s slasher movie meets a John Hughes coming of age tale like The Breakfast Club. <laughs> I mean, like if that if the, whenever this comes out, which I don't think they give any sort of timeline on it because it's not made yet. Um, I'm in. Like off premise alone. Off the people involved alone, it sounds super interesting to me. Whether or not it is remains to be seen, but just know that you, you may or may not have. Well, you didn't hear it here first, but Rick and I talked about it on March 17, 2018, whenever it finally does come out. So if it comes out and it's awesome, just know that we talked about it and we were excited. We talked about, about it. it. It's potential. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, you... coming from, from two really big producers uh, in the horror genre. Coming of age slasher. Uh, coming of age slasher movie, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it, 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 it's, it's, it's it sounds it sounds interesting. I think it's a movie. Like, I think it's a series. Where does it say series? Netflix. No movie. Right movie. There. Okay. Movie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm like trying to think like John Hughes slasher movie like I don't know it's just such a weird mash well I don't know not that it's a bad thing but I just think it's kind of like a weird mash it almost kind of what was the one that we saw the, the babysitter is that one? Oh, yeah, yeah yeah I mean I don't think Netflix. it's similar but like um, like yeah. I remember that took a turn to like what the fuck we just watched I mean, it was really campy but it, yeah it was really campy. Really campy um so like yeah I'm, I'm interested well, what, what gets me on board is like, oh, okay, so the production company that brings the Stranger Things and then James Wan's, James Wan's production company are coming together to make a coming-of-age slasher movie. Like, on paper, that sounds awesome. You know what I mean? I don't know how you compare it to John Hughes, whatever. For all I know, that's the author, like, just taking, giving their own opinion on what they think it could be. But uh, I think it sounds like a cool story. I think with, story. with Wan's, like, way to fuck with their brain, the... Uh, psychological thrill that he does because I like, saw the one, two, and three um, were definitely psychological, especially the first one. Yeah. Um, adding that to like a John Hughes movie that it sounds it sounds like a weird concept that I really really want to see. I mean, like I said, breaking it down, what gets me on board is Stranger Things and James Cross Wan. with James Wan, and then you hear Coming of Age too, and it's like, oh wow, slash, and still kind of like in the yeah. horror. Suspense slasher. I mean, I'm good, I guess. Just, I mean, I don't think I'd call it the same as uh, come in a, or uh, um, Breakfast Club, like. But like, even the first scream. Did you kind of call that a coming of age slasher? No. I don't know if it's coming of age. I mean, they're oh yeah, sure. Because they're already yeah, seniors in high suppose. school. I don't know. Depends. I guess you could make the argument that Stranger Things could almost kind of be a coming of age. Thing, just because we're watching these kids grow up, but yeah, over time, I don't know. Anyways, we just thought this looked kind of interesting, and we wanted to give you some news pieces other than just <laughs> trailers. Oh, uh, but yeah, this sounds interesting. I'm looking forward to when it comes we have, out. Yeah, we have no timeline for any of it. Apparently, so. uh, um, but yeah, then, like that's a bunch of other stuff. I don't think. Yeah, it just a... says that the uh, I guess the nun. The next been, installment of the Conjuring yeah, universe scheduled for yeah, oh this year. Pissed off. Yeah, the nun was always coming out this year. It got bumped. It was gonna come. It got out, bumped. It was gonna come out, I think, in the summer, and then it got uh, pushed to September. I think it only. I think it only. Got, I think they just wanted closer, probably to like Halloween or something. Yeah, I think it was gonna. It fucking might have been coming out in June. I think that's why I was kind of pissed. I'm like, uh, oh, fuck. Now we have to wait because I'm excited for the nun. Rick is too. He's already having nightmares about it. I'm having nightmares lately, but not about the nun. <laughs> So anyways, that's that story. All right. We just thought we'd talk about it because that's shit that we like. Oh, shit. I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> I really didn't. I swear. All right. So we got a trailer for you. The trailer is... The first trailer is kind of old. Kind you of haven't, old. And you haven't watched I haven't it. even watched it yet because I was waiting for you to come on the show. Sorry. I watched it. And I know you already watched it, but it is Wreck-It Ralph. 
uh, breaks the internet, apparently. So uh, let's jump into movie mode. That was the point of the HDMI cable. Though. Oh, that was. Let's get new plug in. Or is it wifey? Why don't we just go in? And we are online. Because now we have to be very clear about audio from the other two people that are watching it. We are going to the internet! Super excited! Just one minor thing. What is the internet? Oh, holy cow! Look at all this stuff! Congratulations, you are a winner! Really? These ten child stars went to prison. Number six will amaze you. That sounds interesting. Come on! <laughs> Loading in theaters. That's yeah. funny. So, thoughts? Uh, it looks good. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think it looks really good. Um, I, I did they call it a trailer or a teaser? It seems like a teaser. Okay, I, I kind of like. I, I don't think I'll watch any more stuff. I feel like they almost deliberately didn't show you much video game stuff because I almost yeah. think they want to keep it a surprise. Yeah, teaser trailer. Yeah, so it's a teaser. So I think they focused it on Ralph and uh, what's her name again? Penelope. Isn't it like something? Penelope something? Or anyway. Sarah uh, Silverman's character. Sarah Silverman's character. I think they did that by design because I think they want to keep... Penelope. What? Penelope. Penelope. Anyways, I almost had it. I think they did that on purpose because uh, I think they want to keep the video game stuff under wraps maybe. Yeah, it's like a minimal. Yeah. I kind of don't think I want to watch more either. Cause yeah, I wouldn't want to watch more either. I know, I know, I'm gonna, I know, I'm gonna see it. So, it looks cool. That last it looks summer. really good. It looks yeah, funny. I'm excited. That's this summer, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, Thanksgiving. 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 Okay. So it's this year. Cool. I'm excited for it. I really love the first one. We, yeah. I think we all did. I, I had to watch it right away when I saw teaser because I was looking forward to that. I think Mike still hasn't seen. Okay, I don't want to say that. I could be wrong, but I, I want to Did, say... Has Mike seen it? I think I, Mike's seen it. I want to say Mike hadn't seen it for a really long time, and I was like, oh, how have you not seen Wreck-It Ralph? I don't know if you ever ended up seeing it. Yet. Yeah, I don't know. So, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so the next trailer we have is for... I saw this trailer, and I was like, I think... Well, first of all, it's, it's, uh, this trailer is for the, this movie is from the people who made This Is Us. Which I thought you watched, but apparently you didn't. You just told me that the show that I think you'd like. I just feel like it's it just seems like a big show to me. Yeah. Know. So um so yeah, this is called Life Itself. It's a teaser trailer. It's from Amazon Studios. And that's not meant as an insult, by the way. Like, cause I mean, I think some people might. No, say, not at all. This is us, and think it's kind of a chick show or whatever or a candy. But isn't it? Just I mean, look at the shit I watch. So. I, guess I know you, I know what you like. So. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's jump into movie mode. I hate when trailers do that little tiny thing. Yeah. Just waiting for the right moment. That's like how I hate Because when I ask you out, there's not going to be any turning back for me. Yeah. I love this song. No one knows where their story is going. Nor who the heroes in it are going to be. Strange to think about. I just think it's funny right. it's a major motion picture effect. <laughs> it's like, okay. 
at any moment. Tell me about that day. Life will surprise you. Oscar, I was living while I was a good cook. Nothing. It's like a movie, right? Life itself rated R in theaters this fall. That, that seemed like a teaser to me, too. Well, yeah, it was a teaser. Okay. Um, I'm intrigued to see more. I mean, that, that I would watch another trailer because I don't know that I'm on board yet. But it looks interesting. You want to see another trailer? See more, yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched the show, obviously. Um, I know Ryan's watched the show. Um, and I've, he's told me the same thing, too. Like, you should probably watch it. It's a good show. Um, it's another one of those shows that seems like everybody, like, that's, you know, there's some shows that... It trends on so, Twitter every night when it airs. Right. There, there, there's some shows that become so popular that they almost become, like, the, the parent show. You know the shows that get so popular that even your grandmother and your mom oh, and your uncle, yeah. like that show... Like how American Idol kind of turned into something that your parents and stuff watch. I mean, I don't know that that was ever aimed at our generation, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like that's what This Is Us is, you know? Um, well, with life itself, like, with the actors that are in it, and F. Benning, uh, Olivia Wilde, Oscar Olivia, Isaac, Olivia Cook. Olivia Cook. Oscar Isaac is uh, from the Star, Star Wars. Wars yeah. What's his name in the movie? It's from Star Wars. Uh, Poe? Poe. Yeah. Um... So, so yeah, I think if it wasn't for all these great actors that are in this, I probably would be okay with not watching it. Not seeing the movie at all? Yeah. Really? Like, I, I mean, I mean, maybe if I got the longer trailer, perhaps. Right, like, I just think it's hard to, that, that's why I'm kind of surprised that they're putting out a teaser. I guess they really, I mean, I guess this is I mean, They must have big. faith in it. Yeah, yeah. they must. Because otherwise. Uh, that was Antonio oh, Band. Studios. Yeah, it's Amazon Studios. Okay. Uh, it was also Antonio Banderas and uh, Mandy Patikit. I don't know who that one. Mandy Patinkin? No, I think isn't her name Mandy Patinkin? But Pat- you don't know who it is? Patinkin? Here. Isn't that a girl? You just said he. Yeah, it's a guy. He. Yeah. His you don't remember what Mandy? movie he was in? His name is Mandy Patinkin. His name is Mandy. <laughs> Look at right here. Uh, who is he in Princess Bride? <laughs> isn't that like one of your favorite movies? Who is he in Princess Bride? <laughs> I just. Teasing Bryce right now. Who is he in Princess Bride? Do you know? Yeah, I do know. Oh shit! I had no you idea. You had no idea. His <laughs> name is Mandy. Yeah. I mean, that seems weird to you too, right? No, because I knew Mandy. I mean, I guess. But yeah. like, I've always associated. Name. Yeah. Mandy Moore. It's probably short for something. What? Man Mandel, Bruce Patinkin. Where is it? Right here. Born Mandel. That he should go by Mandel. I'm sorry. Mandy is a, that, that is a girl's name in every sense of the word. Do we need to throw up a poll? <laughs> yeah, but... Um, I feel like that movie screams you, too, regardless oh, of for the sure. people in it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just think... That, I think with you these actors in it, um, it pushes me more. Yeah. Because I, I really like Olivia Wilde. I think she's a great actress. Um, I like Oscar Isaac, and, and you know, like the first. What was the first thing I saw him in? It was uh, that one where he had that cat with him? Fuck, what was it called? It's black and white. I've seen it. I don't think you've seen it. Oh fuck, what was it called? Something. But after that, and I knew he he was end up in X Men. You want me to find it for you? Ap- Apocalypse. Uh, yeah, go for it. Actually, I probably already have it right here, since I have the movie. Um, but uh. Or I guess I don't have it. Um, but anyways, like, it's cool Lewis to see... One? Inside Lewin Yeah, Davis. Inside Lewin Davis. Um, same. Because, yeah, like, that's, like, the first thing I've ever saw him in, and it's kind of cool. Like, I don't know if he was... What other stuff he was in before that that might have blown up his career, but, like, it's crazy how, like, he... And me and, my, me and Mike talked about this, too, how, like, he did a poc- He was both in two giant movies, Star Wars and X-Men, like, two giant franchises right there. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, like how big his career has blown up so quickly. I don't think he was in Drive. Um, probably. I don't. Well, I, don't I mean, it's not part of this. Apparently, he was in Drive. So oh. He was in Sector Punch and some other stuff. I check. I can't remember his roles in that. Um. I can't say I know of him. At least off. I, 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 I like anything other than Star Wars. 
The reason I watched that first movie of his, Inside Lewin Davis, is was because of uh, Herman. Oh. Or buddy Dan Herman. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I it think is? I, I'm interested, yeah. Well, I, need, I, need to see, I need to see a full trailer first. I mean, there was enough there. I'm like, okay, let me see more, but yeah. I figure since it's Amazon, it's going to be on Prime anyways. So can, is it going to hit theaters? It is hitting theaters. It says in theaters. Huh. But you know, it's, it's not good. It's that Amazon, does, like, so Amazon isn't fully going the Netflix route of like, well, no, we're going to have this movie and it's going to be on Amazon. They're yeah. having it being in theaters too. Yeah. It's interesting take, right? Because, you know what I mean? Well, I think they want to... I think a lot of people think, you know, Netflix is com- is fighting movie theaters. In yeah. Sense. Whereas Amazon could be like, no, fuck you. We're going to put this on our service. And, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. I think that I think they just like when they do put it in theaters they just want to get that possible Oscar run. Uh yeah. So well, what the hell is that? That was my refrigerator. But I mean I don't know, you know more about the Oscars than I do. Is that how it only works now? If it's is something only eligible know. if it's been in the theater? Because now I mean, that's how it worked. But because now we're hitting a point where Netflix is making original movies, Amazon's making original movies, and in some cases Netflix is only putting big... those movies on Netflix. Like they might have to start changing those rules because then that's not fair. Perhaps. Yeah. Because like Big Sick got put into theaters before too. Um, the Woody Allen movie too. But Big Sick had a full on like. They had a long run. Not a theater run. Yeah, it's not like they're putting them in theaters for like a day and then that's it. So. No, they had a longer run. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah. Um, next trailer. What was that called? Life Itself? Life Itself. Do I want to watch this next trailer? Because I, like, here's the deal. Like, you asked me the other day if I watched it, and I said no. Um, why did you, hold on, I just got distracted. Have you always had your PlayStation standing up? <laughs> totally off topic. Yeah. Uh, I, I started it when I started getting that uh, ejection thing going on. And that's not a slim, right? No. No. That's not a It's weird. It looks... It's just the angle that it's at. Anyways, okay, yeah. So... The trailer we're talking about... Hold on. Okay, go ahead. The trailer we're talking about is uh, Infinity War. Right. So yesterday you asked me if I saw the trailer, and I said no. And I thought two things. I'm like, either Rick wants me to not watch this because he wants to save it for the podcast, or uh-huh. he's thinking we shouldn't watch it at all because it's going to show too much. So that's my question to you. Have you seen it? I have seen it. I'm at the point with, with Marvel movies as far as, like, I don't really care about watching it. Really? The trailer. Cause so Star like, Wars is, like, the only thing? Probably. I mean, I'm excited about Infinity War and everything, but... Because, I mean, we already saw a pretty beefy trailer for Infinity War. Yeah. This just kind of shows a little bit more. Okay. I guess. I mean, I even saw I'm an article... Fine. Where, like, I'm fine. When we were looking up it. stories, I saw an article that said, did the Infinity War trailer spoil... Give away, give, give, give away that an Avenger died? If, look. No, if I'll an, watch it. An, look, Avenger, watch an Avenger has to die. I'll watch it. Because if I'm nobody saying. dies, that's, this is fucking stupid. And you know, even if they do die, they're just going to comic book it and they're going to come back. I'm just saying, yeah, I agree. That's why, like, I'm not too... But, I like, I'm just saying, like, I was going to see this movie regardless. So I don't feel like I need to watch the trailer, but I will. I will watch the trailer. Mm-hmm. If you, a big Marvel comic fan, watched it, and me, who is someone that's, you know, I don't know if I could say relatively new anymore, but me, who wasn't someone that grew up off of this stuff and is really taking it as it comes, if you could watch it, I suppose I could watch it. So that's fine. We'll watch it. I, I was just a little surprised. I know Francis there's, watched it, too, because he asked me if I did. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to. There's, there's one thing that I don't like being spoiled. Um, no, just in general. Okay. You know, I don't like it when, like, people, even when they speculate, like, oh, cameo this, cameo that, you know, um, or, you know, oh, I didn't see this coming, or blah, 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 you know, or, like, I hate that kind of shit, you know, when they speculate. I mean, I, yeah, I like to speculate myself, too. Well, who but when, like, when you watch something, you know, and people kind of speculate, like, I guess I can get, I guess I can watch it, but here, here's the thing, though. Meaning, hold on, wait, meaning after they've seen the trailer? You, yeah. You're saying you don't like when people watch a trailer and then they start speculating. Well, no, no, about okay, no, correction, saw? correction, let me, let me, okay, okay, so yeah, I don't mind speculation, okay? Okay. But when 
someone of the producers say, yeah, it's not happening, you know, they're not, this person's not going to be in it, or we, you're, you know, they're changing some stuff or whatever, like, I'm, I'm fine with them talking about that. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, I think what I'm trying to say is I saw an interview with Chris <laughs> Evans and Scarlett Johansson, uh-huh. and Scarlett Johansson said something in that interview that she should have not have said. Okay. And that just, that kind of pissed me off, because... She pretty much confirmed something that I did not want to know. Okay? Do I want to know? You don't want to know. Okay. Why and that pissed me off. Why That's why now, that? like, well, fuck it. I'm going to watch the trailers, you know? All right. So anyways, like, Scarlett Johansson, I love you, but why did you say that? Why? Felt like, so I feel like we're in this era of, you know, the internet and stuff where if you want to keep something a surprise... I almost feel like now... Like, you can't watch anything. Well, there's there's that. But also, you can do other things. Like, you could almost... I, I hate to use the term bait and switch, but you could... Like, because sometimes there's... We've seen this in practice before where there's, like, a, something that's in a movie trailer that doesn't make it to the movie. Yeah. And sometimes it was just... Sometimes they put it just for the trailer either because they filmed it specifically for the trailer or it's a scene that was cut. And like, well, let's put this in the trailer... You know what I mean? Because, yeah. you, you know, you watch a trailer, then you watch a movie, and you're waiting for that part you saw in the trailer, the whole movie, and then sometimes it never comes. So I think, you know, you could do that nowadays. Like, you, if you want to, to conjure up interest in your movie, you could put a bunch of stuff in the trailer that isn't going to be in the actual movie. That's really just of no consequence. Like, yeah. not... You know, don't don't promise something in a trailer that people really want to see, and then it doesn't happen. But, I mean, little things. Like, oh, you know... Yeah. That I'm okay with. But then also I think you're in an era too where like if you want to be surprised about a cameo and I actually don't know if anyone's done this before. I want to say they probably have. But if you want to be surprised by a cameo that's tough too because people can just go to IMDB and type in the movie and see who's who's in it. See yeah. who's in it. But what they could do is just not let that be in, in the credits. You know what I mean? Or not, that let, not let that be on IMDB. <laughs> Fucking Mike. Like, damn it. Like, I, I know what yeah. I said. Listen to me right now. Hold on. Mike will get to you. So, the other thing they could do is not list that person's name on yeah. IMDb. I feel like that's probably been done before. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. But they could do that, you know, because now, like I said, everyone everyone knows the internet. They could look that shit up. Like, in wrestling, they when they want there to be a surprise about someone coming back, Lately, what they've been doing, just because there is so much shit out on the internet, or, you know, you could have even someone working for your company that's going to be, like, that might leak something to the internet because they're a dick, or they don't fucking care. But now, sometimes they've had it, so you know who Vince McMahon is. Yeah. So maybe they'll have it where, like, Vince knows this, and maybe Triple H knows this. Maybe three people know that X wrestler is coming back tonight, and it's a surprise, and they hide them all day, including from everybody in the back. And that ends up being awesome because then you truly are surprised. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like the movie business, Hollywood, whatever, they could do shit like that too if they wanted to. I don't think they care. And I think the people no, they, they can care do that because I'm going to take J.J. Abrams, for example. He's really good at hiding shit like that. Yeah. Um, but that is, that is funny. <laughs> I funny. remember that. And it's, it's fucking bullshit, right, Mike? That, that shit's bullshit. So... But yeah, uh, fucking... For people listening and not in the chat, Mike said uh, the Mighty Ducks never went to the damn beach and played street hockey in part two. Fuck movie trailers. So there you yeah. go. But yeah, I guess my, my, my main beef was with Scarlett Johansson saying... Because that's dumb. That thing. And that's, that's, that's why... And it was the interviewer, too, who were, who were baiting them, too. Like, oh, the interviewer said, oh, I found blah, 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 blah. You know, and she's like... Oh yeah, blah 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 blah. Well, you know, Scarlett Johansson needs to learn how to become a master debater. So yeah, <laughs> and I did that on purpose too. But that's shit. That, like, that's exactly why when there's. I been... just wish I didn't see it, and I could have not seen it. But I. I but you I was... shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I think the actor. Yeah, sorry. I'm I don't think you thought you were gonna watch an interview with Scarlett Johansson and have something big. Yes. There spoiled. you go. Yeah. And that's exactly why when there's been back to wrestling, when there's been somebody big that's gonna return. That they've only let a select few people know about it because you don't want somebody being like, oh, well, I just saw fucking blah, blah, blah in the back. And then everyone, all of a sudden it's out there. Yeah. Wait, what? I gotta think Mike will care. I know. I love this shot, by the way. I think it was awesome. Yeah. Tell me his name again. Samuels. 
Seems like Panther, huh? Okay, who, who do people, let me guess. So after watching that trailer, the person that they think was spoiled into dying, well, have you heard? Like, do you know? Is there active discussion about that? About that? Uh, yeah. Is, Everyone... it, is, it, is it Doctor Strange? Or no? Who? Everyone thinks it's Captain America. Okay. Why? Because of that part with Thanos yeah. and the thing? First I thought it was Doctor Strange because it showed him in a precarious situation. Could you not see the that. trailer, Mike? No, 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 he's just not watching. Oh. Oh. He's fine. Oh. He's not watching. Oh, oh, okay. He's listening. Oh, oh I get what he's... Okay, yeah. yeah, I got it. And Mike doesn't... He doesn't care about the Avengers, so that's fine. Oh, that's true. Um, yeah, everyone keeps saying Captain America, just because we know his contract was up. But apparently he re-signed his contract, so now it's kind of like, well, nobody knows who's dying. I want to know who they're thinking in the thing. So talk, talk a little bit. I want to, as a, as a fan... As a big fan, well, I guess I guess I'm arguably a fan too. So, how do you feel about that trailer? Do you like what you see? I know you were. I definitely forward. like what I see. Okay. But like I said earlier, like I'm not really I don't really care about spoilers as much unless like they're major. So like I don't mind watching this trailer. See, like I think it's, yeah, they did show uh, quite a bit. I think it's funny. Like I said, I I'm honestly, even though like I don't I'm not some diehard that gives that much of a fuck. But, like, I would have been okay not, not seeing, seeing a trailer that. with them. Like, all I saw was that other trailer shows them seeing the Guardians of the Galaxy and, like, who are you or whatever mm. it was. I would have been fine if that's all I saw. But now I saw them talking. I saw fucking, what's Chris Pratt's character? Star-Lord. I saw Star-Lord talking to Iron Man. Like, I didn't need to see that. But that's just how I've become. Uh, and I do, yes, Mike, I know your body very, very well. Um... That's just how. That's just the type of person I've turned into. But that's what okay. You, I'm not mad about, about it. Then? Who's I want to see. I want to see the theory of who's dying. I want to see what people are saying. Yeah, who they think it is. I would tread lightly on that. No, no, no. no. This article says, "Did the Infinity War trailer reveal which Avenger dies?" That's all it said. Yeah, because Doctor Strange didn't look too hot. <laughs> Uh, right, right. So I'm not wrong for saying. I, I that. just think that uh, it could be a, a time loop that he's in. Because remember the, the thing he has. Ah, uh, okay. That's why I don't really like. You don't like wait what? I mean that's no, not that I don't like. Like that's why I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Just because like I think he, he's doing something like I mean that I don't know, I don't think they'll show that much. But I don't think Doctor Strange would die because first of all, like he just came into the the MCU. Yeah. So killing off someone who just showed up to the MCU would be pretty stupid. But, but at the same stupid, time... But at the same time, like, I mean, on the, the scale of who's important, like, is Doctor Strange? Yeah, he is! But really, though, to the mainstream, like, 
Are kids going out and buying Doctor Strange action figures more than they're buying Iron Man and Captain America and Hulk and fucking Thor? Well, they, he just had his movie. I hear you. I hear you. I, I don't. I'm not saying it's not. And this article actually implies. Do you want me to say this? No. Why? No. Fuck it. Is it Captain America? Well, Go ahead and say no, it, no. I know that. You, keep in mind again. This is an article asking, "Did the trailer reveal which oh, Avenger okay, dies?" Okay. And all they're saying is, based off watching the trailer. Uh, like Captain America looked like he wasn't in a good situation, and then this person then adds, "Unfortunately, of things." Oh, I don't know. Have you read the comics uh, about Infinity War? I started reading the Infinity War comics. I just never finished them. Do you want me to read this next sentence to you? Sure. Why not? Unfortunately, if things wait, go- spoiler alert. Possibly. Well, well, for the comics, I guess. For the comics, spoiler alert. Unfortunately, if things go the way they did in the comics, then it could be Cap's yeah. stand. So. Hmm. Yeah, because he. Yeah, I guess he does die in the comics. That's why people were assuming he was going to die. Also because of the comics and because his contract was up. But he's signed. Because him. people were thinking that Bucky's going to take over as Cap like he did in the comic books. I don't know what you're talking about. Bucky, the guy with the metal arm. Who's that? His his sidekick. Oh yeah. His friend, Winter Soldier. Okay. In the comic books. I've only seen Civil War though. You have to remember. You ever seen Winter Soldier? No, I don't. Fucking. I don't like Captain America. Watch Winter. I I don't care if you don't like Captain America. Winter Soldier. Winter Sol Winter the Winter Soldier is a good fucking movie. I think I've only seen Civil War. I don't think I've seen a standalone. Because Civil War is a standalone Captain America movie, but. Civil War is also the movie that I think is a really Avengers, Avengers two. two. <laughs> um, I didn't need to see that trailer. It looks good. All right. I'm not sad that I saw it, but I didn't need to see it. But I'm excited. I hope it recaptures what Avengers one did. Yeah. Because first Avengers was a really fucking good movie. Um, Avengers two sucked. I, I I like I don't know if I've went like I'm fully on board with saying yeah, Avengers two sucked. I don't think oh. Avengers 2. Avengers 2, uh, it wasn't, it just wasn't, no, Avengers 2 sucked, in my opinion. You know, I've only, honestly, I've only I seen tried, it once, though. I tried watching it again, and I ended up not even getting through it. Because it's not. I, I think I liked maybe, like, the first, the beginning of it. I, I that was pretty much it. Yeah. That, 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 that was the was first, strong. that was the first Marvel movie that I think that was trying too hard to be cute. Yeah. Meaning like, you know, oh, like a joke here, a joke there. Like, oh, this is funny, huh? huh? Oh, yeah, I agree that with that. That stuff, yeah. like, oh, it was so fucking I agree painful. With that. Yeah. And it just wasn't good. Thor wasn't in half the fucking movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, they had their whole issues you with know. the studio and Joss. I don't remember that story. Yeah, the studio tried to control Joss too much and Joss didn't like that. Oh, yeah, because he did. Wait. He did Avengers too. And one, two, right? One and two, yeah. Is he doing three? No, the Russo brothers. He directed Captain America's Winter Soldier. What else did the Russo brothers do? Um, they did doing Civil War too. No. Yeah, they did the last, the latest Captain, the two Captain America I feel movies. Like they're doing something else. Something for TV. Probably. I don't know. I feel like their names are on my brain for one reason or another, and I can't remember why. Are you, are you upset that Joss Whedon isn't doing this right now? No. No. Okay. I mean, I kind of want him to do his own thing right now and make up something new. Yeah. I'm interested to see what he has in his mind. In his pants. Not really. Remains to be seen. Perhaps. Anyways, that's our reaction and our... <laughs> Discussion. So you're excited. On, you're excited. I'm that excited. Does it make you I'm, I'm excited. Less excited. Does it make no, you more excited? It makes me more excited. Okay. Um, I just wish I didn't see that interview. Sorry, Scarlett Johansson. There wasn't even a little part of you that that like would have rather just saved the interaction between the Guardians and the Avengers, like for mm. the movie itself. No, that's fine. Okay. Did you buy your ticket yet? For what? The Infinity War. No. What on sale? Should I have? Well, I already bought my ticket. Like, you did? Yeah. Me and Bright. You guys did? Yeah, we're going to... Where's I'm, the invitation? I don't know. That's yeah, Bright. Exactly. Bright, he texts me. There you go. Where's the invitation? <laughs> Fuck Bright. Where um, are you guys going? Uh, Bray. Yeah, of course. That's why. 
Well, I'm not in Bray anymore. Yeah, so I know, be... but it's, it's convenient for Brian. Yeah. Brian. Fuck you, Brian. Brian, fuck you. <laughs> but I'm also seeing it Thursday. That's... Our tickets were for a Friday. I'm seeing it it's on not Thursday until night. April. Like, this isn't Star Wars. Even though the Avengers movies make a shit ton of money, I don't feel like the tickets are as hard to come by. We used to buy the tickets, I feel like, the same week the movie came out. Just That's true. Yeah. Well, fuck Brian. You should, you should watch Fuck Panther. We should just see how many times I say fuck Brian on this. I know, huh? Start the counter. Yeah. All right. You guys enjoy your little date. Yeah. Next topic. So, we both went to go see Red Sparrow. Uh-huh. A uh, movie with Jennifer Lawrence. This is another thing that... Uh, I don't want to say we discovered on the podcast, but we watched the teaser for this on the podcast. Uh, we did. Yeah. Sight unseen. So, yeah. And we were we both left it and we were like, oh, that looks really cool. Yeah. And uh, now we saw the movie. Yeah, the reason I wanted to see it, because like, just like everyone else, that in every other podcast I heard, like people kind of said, like, this is almost feels like a Black Widow movie, <laughs> at least with her origins. Mm. Um but you Which were, is not. You were enticed from the teaser. <laughs> but I was still enticed, yeah, because like but I like Jennifer Lawrence. I, I like spy, espionage type of... Funny thing is, I do not like Jennifer Lawrence. You don't like Jennifer Lawrence? I, I, here's what I'll say. I, don't, I can't really give you a solid... Re- For some reason, she just bugs me. I got, I, I'm not like one of those people... Like, A, for me, I don't think she's dropped dead gorgeous like most people do. She's just not for, she's just not for me. Uh... And I'm just not the type, like, I know a lot of people feel about, like, oh, the Jennifer Lawrence movie, and they have to go see whatever she's in. I will say, though, I like how down-to-earth she is, like, in reality. Like, she keeps it real. Her interviews and stuff, she doesn't seem like a celebrity. That that I do like about her, but otherwise, I'm not, I don't know, something about her, despite, like, it, I, I won't refuse to see the stuff that she's in. Like, I don't hate her, but I don't have the obsession with her that some people do. Hmm. So, yeah. Well, I think she's a great actress. Um, I mean, are you one of those? Not that there's anything wrong with it. Are you one that thinks that she's not ugly? I, she's just not for me. Do you? Are you one of the people <laughs> that think she's pretty? I think she's very pretty. Yeah. I think she's because I hate beautiful. saying that. I don't want to say like, oh, I, like I don't find her attractive. Like when I say that, I'm not to say that that she's ugly. Like she's not. It's just not. Yeah. Anyways, carry on. I'd love to be rejected by her. <laughs> okay. I would love to reject her. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, Red Sparrow, um, basically she plays a character, she's, uh, the character is Dominique, she's a ballerina, Dominica. She, Dominica, uh, she's a ballerina and she has an accident on stage that, uh, pretty much breaks her leg and she can't really dance anymore. That was brutal. That was really graphic yeah. when I saw it. Should we just say this is going to be spoilers? Spoilers, yeah. I haven't seen too many trailers and I had actually had no idea she was a ballerina and I had no idea the leg thing happened. So I don't know if that's something that's in the trailer or not. It's though. not. Okay, it's so not in the trailer. Spoiler. I had no <laughs> idea. Spoiler review. <laughs> spoiler review. So, uh, so yeah. Um, so that happens and then she ends up uh, talking, getting... Uh, in contact with their uncle. Her uncle gets in con- contact with her um, about how she can make some money, you know, take care of because her mom's sick. She needs help. She can't take care of herself. So um, she kind of... Her uncle kind of persuades her to just do this one thing for him that ends up being... She ends up seeing a murder right in front of her, like right on top of her. <laughs> and she basically either has two choices. Join basically their... Horror Red school. They're what? Horror, horror school. school, yeah. <laughs> or die. So she ends up doing that. Not dying. Going to the school. Yeah, it's either that or just like not yeah, not having money to take care of stuff pretty much, right? No, they said they were gonna they would kill her. Her uncle said she was gonna kill her he would kill her? They would take care of her. Okay. And Whatever. you know. Um, because uh she was a witness to the murder. Um which basically that was her uncle's plan all along. Mm-hmm. So, uh, she ends up going on this mission, meets a CIA agent from America. Of course, they fall in love, and it turns into this whole Are we reviewing spy the movie or spy. recapping the movie? Well, I guess I'm recapping. I'm just explaining it until you say something. Well, I'm waiting to hear what you thought of the movie. 
movie. Uh, overall, like with with this movie, like I I like. What well, time? Oh, yeah. okay. I was gonna say time out because I was gonna say, well, going into this movie, this movie is hated. Like a lot of people has been hated. I haven't really oh, looked yeah, at the reviews. Movies, the movies I saw Rotten Tomatoes. Like, some was people split. have called it her worst movie, and like it's just gotten really. I've seen a lot of people just say the movie is awful. Wow. But Rick like. I liked it. Well, I'm mean, this falls into my wheelhouse of genre, I guess. Because, mm-hmm. like, I like the spy versus spy type of, like, when is this person going to turn? I like the anticipation of that. Right. It's kind of why I like the Atomic Blonde in that way, too. Because yeah. it was that, it was, I mean, yes, it had great, you know, action, choreographed action as well. And this is more, like, psychological in the sense, like, is she gonna, you know, if, if she's true, does she really want to leave Russia with her mom, you know, and get out of this type of work that she never did even volunteer for, you know, or is she actually gonna stay true to her government and to her state? So it's like, like, you know, and there's scenes in the movie too where you think like, holy shit, she was she actually, you know, not gonna go through with it? Yeah. You know, so like, um. I, I mean, I liked it a lot. Like I said, I like the whole type of genre of this, you know, yeah. spy genre. I mean, it, it like, so let me not clarify. It's not the best reviewed movie overall, but the negative reviews of calling the movie trash and that's awful might be more in a vacuum, you know? But, like, I mean, overall, like, yeah, like, I think whoever does the Roger Ebert review now gave it two out of four. It's got a 53% of Metacritic, 40, 47% of rotten, rotten Tomatoes. I have heard so many of the negative reviews going into it that I just thought, I'm like, Jesus. Like, I, I felt like I was seeing, I'm like, wow, Jennifer Lawrence is really lining them up, you know, from mother to fucking this. You know, because yeah. everyone hated mother, seen mother, too. Don't fucking see mother. It's so bad. Mother is just like, what the, I mean, I guess if that, maybe that makes you want to see it more, but, ugh, God, anyways, yeah. Um, so. So, yeah. I, that, I, 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 I was like trying it. to get out that, like, the movie seems like it's being panned in a lot of ways. So I wanted to say that before I didn't the see, you I didn't see any of the reviews at all. I, I think, if anything, I saw, like, uh, Fandango, like, the Rotten Tomatoes said, what, 47 or something like that. Yeah. I was like, okay, it seems like it's kind of split. So that's why I was like, right, well, I'm, I like her, so I'm just going to go in and see what happens. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. I, enjoy, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um... If you, I, I'd say, like, if you like this type of movies, yeah, go on and see it. But if you don't, like, I think you could wait for Netflix. Yeah. I don't think the movie deserves the harsh reviews that it's getting. But I'll say, like, I just thought the movie was okay. I, like, it just, I, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of, it was fine. Like I said, you know, like, maybe maybe part of it is, like, a, like a, since I'm not really a big fan of hers, maybe I'm just not being totally fair. You know, but at the same time, I could enjoy a movie that she's in. It's not, like, that I don't like her to that extent. Um, but, yeah, like, I think, if anything, honestly, like, running into some reviews that said that this movie was so bad, I think might have even helped my experience a little bit because I was going in there. I kind of was going in there waiting to see, well, what's so bad about this? And then after watching, like, well, this isn't that bad, but... I don't know. I thought it was all right. Like, all right. Yeah, I never. I don't think I ever have to see the movie again. It's like at one point I had to pee really, really bad during the movie, and I didn't want to get up, and so I didn't. But it just almost became like it was like felt like a task to watch the movie. Like I just wasn't super into the story. Like I don't know. I wasn't that interested. Like I felt like I didn't care about the characters. That I much. I thought there was gonna be a little bit more to it. As far as to her character, like yeah. I thought she was gonna be more like kick ass badass. Yeah. But it didn't actually turn out to be that much of that. It was more of mind, manip- mind manipulation. And also just to show that I'm not just being, you know, like, like I think I've prefaced enough that it's like I don't have some vendetta against Jennifer Lawrence. Like I said, I've seen a, quite a bit of movies that she's in. I just don't have the obsession that I feel like the world has with her. But like I said, I appreciate how much, how down to earth she seems. How much of a... As a person. How she doesn't seem yeah. like a celebrity. Like, she seems like... You know what I mean? And like, I, we could actually have her on the show. And I... Yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah, right. Um, no, we probably totally could. Um, what I will say, though, because like I said, and it's on the podcast, on fucking audio, and people could see it, too. Rick and I both, me, myself included, uh, were really excited about the teaser trailer. Yeah. So I was on board. I think... But it didn't know. live up to your teaser, to no, the teaser trailer. No, I don't think it, it did. To me, it did. I don't think it lived up to the teaser. I don't know. 
I didn't look but this is in my that. genre category. Yeah. I don't even want to say it. Like, I'm, I'm not saying it's not in mine, but yeah, like, I think I ex- expected more. Yeah, I mean, that's a, yeah, I was kind of expecting more of her keen ass, but didn't happen. Yeah, because I think we caught a vibe that, like, oh, shit, is this, like, female John Wick? Yeah. For a little bit? It sort of seemed that way, and I don't know. Um, like I said, the movie's Tom fun. Blonde is more that way. Okay. But I think we, I think... We speculated that Red Sparrow. No, no okay. we speculated that Red Sparrow. Yeah, we did speculate that. Um, the movie's fine. The movie's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Uh, Annie enjoyed it too. She liked it. She liked it. Good. Um, but for me, it's just man, eh, it's all right. There's nothing wrong. There, there's nothing wrong with the movie. I just didn't particularly enjoy it a great deal. Yeah. I don't wish that I got my two hours back. Like, it's not nothing, nothing like, that. like that. Mother, yes. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> fucking don't know. I'm just like, what the hell did I just watch? But, yeah. That's Aronofsky, right? Yes. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, I don't have a ton. I don't really don't have a ton to say. Like, I, okay. I don't know. It just said, like, I, I wish I could sit here and give you, like, I don't have, like, this laundry list of reasons of, like, you know, like, it was bad because of this. Because, like, like I said, the movie's fine. It's not that it's... <laughs> not that it's some shitty horrible movie i just don't it just didn't particularly hold my attention fair enough yeah um i on the other hand liked it so rick Rick liked it he recommends seeing it i guess what if that's something you're into yeah the reason also i guess it a must see to you like like do you think anybody should go see this or do you think it's catered more to people it's catered more to people yeah but like like or like jennifer lawrence um, yeah, I, feel like, I mean, you're going to see her naked in it if you like Jennifer Lawrence. Which is a big step for her, especially with after all the shit she had to deal with. I mean, we, yeah, we've all already um, seen her naked so before that. So. Because of the, the fappening. Yeah. Uh, so, what's next on the agenda? Uh, anything in video games. Anything in video games. Um, I don't know. Burnout. Oh, Burnout Paradise. Did you actually play? Uh, I played some yesterday. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think I broke 50 gates. Okay. Um, I think, I've done that I, think I got like 20 billboards, maybe. I don't remember. I've kind of um, been doing like a comp. The way I've been playing, kind of, I've, I've done that stuff, but I've, I'm kind I haven't of. I haven't played more, any events. Like I, yeah, I'm playing events, but I'm kind of just like, I'm unlocking cars. And I'm, even though I know. How do you do that? I forgot how to unlock cars. Well, part of it is, like, upgrading your license and stuff. Right. Um, oh, so you have to do those trials within... Yeah, like, winning okay. events, like, you you, want, you you can... It's upgrading your license, you get a car. The more events that you... I think, like, the more events that you win and stuff, suddenly there's a car cruising around Paradise, and then you take them out, that car goes to your junkyard. Um, and then you do the burning routes for the mm. cars, and you get, like, an upgraded version of cars that you have... Uh, already so I'm, I'm kind of even though I know like all the DLC and all that stuff is there the special cars and stuff I'm playing the cars as I get them like because I'm just like well just because <laughs> that's what I want to do I want to I'm trying to treat it as if it is my first time playing it uh, as much as I can do that because I do know that game like inside like I know what the inside of that game's butthole smells like <laughs> I just, you know, I'm just like you. Know, I'm glad that I can make you laugh, like okay. legitimately. Um, but uh, that said, what are you doing? Oh, I'm checking this out. Yeah, it feels like we've been on here for a while. Um, that said, what I will say about it, and I don't regret buying it. I don't think that game is worth forty dollars. Oh really? No, I kind of don't. Like, you know, uh. Not that I'm surprised. I mean, even when I saw the price, like, we, you and I were always on board with this. I was going to get it regardless, even knowing the price. If the game was $60, I was probably going to get it too, just because I wanted to get it. Um, but when we talked about this with Mike and stuff on the show, like, I knew I wasn't getting anything new or fresh or anything like that, but... Right. It has I, all the DLC, though. It, right. But it's, uh, it's a fucking 10-year-old game, dude. <laughs> like, I, I don't think it looks that much different or that much better to where it merits a forty dollar price tag even including all the dlc i feel like you could have sold this game for 10 bucks like it doesn't look that much better i even I like it look better 
it doesn't look that much better. It looks better, but it doesn't look that much better. I've watched a few side-by-side stuff. I've even gotten to the point, and I think even Micah alluded to this when he was uh, talking about it on the show, too. It's gotten to the point where I'm playing it, and I'm just like, yeah, this is what Burnout looked like. And even when I go back to the PlayStation 1, yeah, it looks cleaner and crisper and, like, more crisp, but I don't... It doesn't look... I Even on the side-by-side, I don't think, like, whoa, like, look how much it changed. But I, at the same time, to be fair, I can't say I was expecting some massive wholesale change. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't regret buying it. I'm glad I have it. I'm glad I have it on the PS4. Uh, I realize that the team, as we know it, like, they aren't together or even all working for the same company and Criterion, as we know it, doesn't necessarily exist. But, you know, I want this to do well because I would like to see a A Burnout game or any game or or (laughs) any game like... Adopt this type of stuff. Whether it's Burnout or not, be made like this as like a a, a sequel to this. As like, this was the starting point and now we're building on this. So, in that sense, I hope it does does well whether or not whoever works on it you know captures the same you know brilliance i guess that the original criterion team did remains to be seen but for that alone i was going to give it my money and just for the ease of like oh it's on my playstation 4 All right i can yeah. play this with the dualshock 4 you know that's great but yeah like playing it the more i keep playing it, i'm just like yeah like this is this is what burnout was like you know what i mean and again i wasn't expecting I knew it was, wasn't going to be a different game. I knew that. Right. But I guess I thought maybe it would look even a little bit prettier than More it crispy. does. crispy. It just, to me, like, it doesn't look bad, but I don't think it looks that different. So I don't think the game needed to be 40 bucks. What if it was 30? Still no? I don't know, man. Like, I like, like we talked I think about for, okay, I'll, I'll agree with you that 40 bucks, yeah. I'm really buying it just because, like, I know we all loved it. I'm buying it to support it. I'm buying it because we all loved it. Yeah, and because we're all going to play for hours. So that's why I bought it. Yeah, and of course, I would have bought it at $60, too. Like a fucking... I wouldn't have bought it at $60. I I don't know if I would have bought it. Like a fucking fucking idiot, I I probably would have done. Because I just... I want... If there's any chance... I feel like right now, if there's any chance for any game, Burnout or otherwise, to be made building upon this style then this is the time i need to support it and have it do well in order to hopefully see something like that one day um but yeah no way would it be worth 60 bucks and no way is it worth 40 dollars. i don't know what i would price it at i honestly don't think that i feel like it could be like 10 bucks man (laughs) like seriously like i mean it doesn't look that much better like it really doesn't you know i'm gonna go that low i think i think like like again, like it is the same game and everything. Ten yeah. to twenty forty bucks. bucks I like I'm fine with losing or dropping forty dollars. I would say losing. I said dropping forty dollars on this because I know I'm gonna have fun playing it. Yeah, like on an honest price range, like I wouldn't say ten bucks. I would probably say twenty. I'll go anywhere ten to twenty, but even then, man, like I said, it just it's so. Uh, like I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It's literally like. There's nothing different about the game, which we knew going in. So I'm just yeah. kind of like, man, it takes balls to charge what they charge. Especially because there weren't wholesale changes made to the look of the game. And I'm not even saying that I wanted that, but I just don't think it's that much of a visual upgrade where it should cost that much money. Right. I'm going to stay with it. Yeah, like I feel like nine ninety nine, I could totally see. You know? I'm even sure. then, I even then I don't want to price it. I don't want to price it. It's fine. I was gonna pay whatever because I want to support it. I want it to do well. I want to see a game like this be made again. Yeah. Because yeah, playing that game feels like putting on something so familiar and comfortable, and I love it, and everything about it. I love going back to that period, like the soundtrack. Everything still being intact. It's just like whether you like every song in that soundtrack or not that soundtrack is so synonymous with that game. Yeah, it is. And I would want no <laughs> other music to go with it. And I don't skip songs. I play it like it just, it's so, it's crazy. Well, remember, you could upload your own music too at one point, remember? Fuck that, though. <laughs> I, I did. I, I, I wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't do that. So. I mean, not that I don't like the soundtrack. I'm just saying, like, I yeah. did put my music in there too. Mike's back. We didn't know you were gone. 
but welcome back. I think we're about done. We're, we're pretty much done. Yeah, we were talking about burnout. Um, I'm uh, looking forward to playing more of this. That's all I know, because I want to go down the middle lane. Of course you do. <laughs> And that's fun. I love it. Like I said, I just don't think like it, even beforehand. Like I, I think, I think honestly, um, things are a little off, and I'm already on my C license. Yeah, I think I'm on my C license too, Mike. Still my learners. Um, it's great. It's the same game. And going into this, I knew it, but yeah, I do not. I, it shouldn't have been forty bucks. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not that much of a visual upgrade. Like it doesn't look that different. And I, I can't say I was expecting it to. I wasn't expect like, I was buying it no matter what. Like I said, no matter what, yeah. I was buying it. I wanted to support it. I want to see another game like this, like this, made by whoever, like, you know, like anything. Like I said, I, 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 I already said I realized that. Uh, yeah, exactly, Mike, exactly. Um, the Apple being song. Just all of it being in there, like, it's burnout, it feels good, I'm glad I'm playing it, I'm glad I can play it on PS4, but yeah, man, like, no regrets, supported it, that game is, shouldn't be 40 bucks. <laughs> Alright. It shouldn't. Um, but it's fun, it's fun, I don't know what to say, I'm repeating myself, yeah, I'm kind of repeating myself yourself. a little bit because Mike is here, so I just wanted him to hear it, oh, but yeah. yeah. So anyways. That's it. Super happy with it, super fun. Yeah. Yeah, I want to play right now. Mike's fine with the price tag. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised you're fine with the price tag. I'm not. But I paid it. And that's okay. And I don't regret it. I just don't think that the game has any business being $40. Uh, but that's okay. So is, is that a show? I think so. Alright. So Are you okay with it being a show? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm I don't sorry. got anything you're else. Are you mad that we went long? Are you upset? No, not at all. How long I'm did, did we it. actually go long? I know we were streaming all the uh, time. We were okay. live that long, but we've been recording for an hour and 35. Okay, that's not yeah. bad at all. So, that's a good show. Yeah. So, there you have it. There's this week's episode of Some Shit We Like. If you like what you see, why don't you give us a follow here on Twitch, or if you're watching on YouTube, give us a subscription. Give us your subscription. If not, whatever. It's up to you. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. You can follow us uh, on Twitter, at Some Shit We Like. We put up the show Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday... Thir Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, I got it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Clips go up at the show. Sometimes two clips go up on Thursdays. We have the full audio up on Tuesday. And you get the whole fucking show on Friday. Motherfucking. Whole motherfucking show on Friday. Motherfucking. Whole Samuel motherfucking Jackson show on Friday. Right. And we send our clips up on Facebook. So follow us there. So until next time, Bryce. Uh, what? Hey, okay. That was some shit you like. <laughs> <laughs>